Hey guys, welcome to another jam-packed episode of Bow Hunter Die. I think we need to start filming all the things that we talk about before the show starts, Brody. If we could do that. They're I don't probably know, first wondering, like, who the heck is Brody? They're probably like, whoa, 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 where's Justin? That's right. We put Justin aside, came in here for some quality <laughs> control and uh, checking things out. <laughs> quality control. So prior to us kicking off the show, we were talking about the good things that opossums do. I just learned that opossums eat hundreds and hundreds of thousands of ticks. Did you know this? I, I didn't I've know never this. heard that. Brad spoke up yep. because Brandon said he thinks he killed the entire family of possums That's coming right. into work because I was going to save a turtle and you didn't let me save my turtle. So. But <laughs> pro, I did not know this. You know about the no, sticks? No, I never heard that. A little pro tip from Brad. That's that's pretty informative. I've never heard it. I want to check I that want you right. to comment below. Man, if you've heard about this opossums eating ticks, I want to know about this. Brad just threw this little bit of information out. I want to. I want someone to, I don't know, tell me if this is real or not real. Yeah, we're going to have to fact check that one for sure. We're fact checking this for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Listen, enough of that being said, YouTubers, let's get right to the action. We've got, in my opinion, probably the only way that anyone should hunt turkey is run and gun, go, go, go. Personally, I like sitting in my blind, but I got to admit it, it's so much more fun to watch people chase Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Let's not Absolutely. give it away here. Let's join Paul now as he hopefully chases down a turkey somewhere in Wyoming. Let's do it. Airport food isn't good. Look at this burrito. I'm eating all of it, that's for sure. Yeah. Which one are you? I'm window. Oh, <laughs> Sucker! used to fly in here to Dillette and they go on horses and shoot these people. Not, not much has changed. I don't have as much hair as that Indian does. Oh, all of our bags came. No problems whatsoever. I've been taking turkeys like they're going in style. Yeah. <laughs> all right, folks. Well, we got some work done today on the new skinning shack slash garage. We got the holes drilled and uh, we poured concrete in the holes. We're gonna set the post tomorrow and we're gonna get things rolling. So hopefully uh, it goes up quick and we get to get out and uh, kill some turkeys. But come around here, we're gonna check out what Dusto's cooking over here. Dustin, what we got here? Hold on one second. I was gonna open it up, but I didn't want to ruin it. Oh, you're good. So, what we have under this magnificent grill is a turkey that's been shot in the face. This is a face shot turkey. This is a face shot turkey. Guaranteed me to be more tender. Mm, guaranteed to be tasty. Mushrooms and fresh turkey tomorrow. Hopefully shot in the face, but more than likely two of them will be shot with a 12 gauge in the face. Right. And one of them will have three traditional arrows in his butt. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hopefully not. All right, folks. Well, happy Mother's Day. Um, We've been working on the, um, the garage this morning. Um, got uh, a lot of the soft and fascia done. Uh, we're waiting on our metal, so um, 
Dustin and Rich got back from taking the mothers out for uh, out to eat, making them feel special because it is Mother's Day today. Happy Mother's Day to my wife, especially on her first mother her first Mother's Day, and also my mom. So um, we're gonna go try to kill a turkey here in just a little bit. My buddy Randall killed one yesterday uh, with the shotgun, almost blew his head off at about 12 yards. So I'm hoping that we get another good shot at something that close because that would be perfect for my traditional bow. So I'm getting dressed and uh, going to head out. We're going to see what kind of turkeys we can find and hopefully get some close encounters and maybe kill one this afternoon. So They'll be sticking out there. All right, so we got a couple birds spotted right down here. Two strutters, another strutter up the creek, and then some jakes down in front of us. So we're trying to figure out and make a plan to uh, get in front of them and get the fans up get them within range and get an arrow in one, so. Alright. We've got some birds down here. The strutters we saw from the road are kind of working up this creek bed. I'm gonna call a little bit, see where they're at before we pop up over this hill. If we do, we may be able to just call them right in up to this hill here and hopefully get a shot at them. I might jump up to the next clump here, so I'm in kind of a more of a clump. Sound good? One miss, two miss, three miss, three strikes, I'm out. I have no excuses, I just missed. I don't think I focused. I canned my bow too much. The bird ducked my arrow. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm actually gonna shoot this cactus and see if I can hit it. Kinda kneel how I was. This one here at like, granted this is like 12 to 15 yards, so. Let's see where I hit. I left. That seemed to be my problem a little bit over there as I shot high, high, high. But I'll keep practicing. I'll get one. Tradition. It's a term recognized with importance, value, and legacy.
The truth is, we've all learned from someone who's gone before us. And it is indeed a fact, someone has blazed a trail, a path that we now walk on. You know, they say records were made to be broken, but traditions, well, they were always meant to be carried on. All right, guys, well, today it's about 3.16 right now. Um, this morning we got up. Everybody got up early except for Randall. He got up about four hours later. So unfortunately now we didn't get the building finished until three something o'clock. So we're <laughs> running around trying to find turkeys and we just found a nice long beard right here and uh, kind of hitting some bumpy roads and everything. But we're gonna try to get around him, see if we can set up in the woods or something like that and uh, hopefully get another shot at uh, a bird. So. Um, I practiced this morning and I'm having a hard time with my bow. I'm shooting a little bit high consistently and I shoot instinctive so it's really hard habit to break right now and get used to my other bow but uh, you know by the time practice was over I was shooting okay so uh, we'll see. All I need is one arrow to hit the right spot on one bird. It might be 20 arrows later but we'll, we'll make it happen. It should be fun. So we saw this long beard out in the field and me and Dustin ran down here around. Um, he's working his way to the left right here. So we're gonna try to figure out whether we need to stay here or loop around, but he's probably 110 yards from us right now. So working kind of towards the left. So we'll try to get set up and either show him the bands or call him in one or the other. Gonna get good. we can find one that wants to play and get in close because I need him I need him to come running in and commit suicide on my arrow that's still knocked that's what I'm hoping for <laughs> all right well we just snuck up to the top of this hill here and we looked over and there's a couple birds down there looks like two or three toms and a couple hens So the, was that a crazy hunt or what? <laughs> we just had these two birds work all the way down the road and uh, come all the way in. The str I shot at the strutter. He held up at about, I don't know, 21 to 27 yards, somewhere in there. And shooting instinctive, it's kind of, you're kind of just supposed to know. But somehow I, I had really good height, but I shot left. And I think I just went through the back tail fan, but it sounded, you know, it sounded like I hit him. So we're gonna get down here and check this arrow um more so because we saw that both the long beards go down here and go into the cedar and only one long beard came out so we're gonna go down here and check up on this bird i don't feel great about the shot I hit him too far back but um you know shooting some big fixed blade broadheads could do the trick so let's go down here and check the arrow and see if we've got blood and uh let's hopefully if we have to get another arrow in them we'll get another arrow in them but let's catch up to them Alright guys, so we got feathers here and we've got blood on the Black Eagle Instinct. We've got the Hellraiser there and we got some meat hanging off of it. 
Ooh, hold on. Morel mushroom. No. Yes. Morel mushroom. That's, oh, that's got to be a good sign. That's got to be a good sign. We're going to find my turkey. We found a morel. This is only the second morel. Let's pick this sucker. That's got to be a good sign. We're going to get this bird. Dan Richardson. May the luck of Dan Richardson be with me, right? <laughs> blood right there. There's blood right here in the cedars. But there's a bunch of blood right here. Here there's a bunch of feathers. Dusto, there's a bunch of feathers here still. Keep bedded up right here. We're just gonna follow the blood trail up here. He couldn't have gone far. He's bleeding pretty good. So we got blood. There's a good bit of blood there. Got blood. You still got blood. Yeah, there's blood. Blood. He's still bleeding. We're about 100, 100 yards away. I see him. I see him. That second shot's pretty much stoned him. <laughs> what do you think? Unfortunately, two shots later, but we got a bird. I lost my arrow somewhere in the process. Oh, there we go. Pull this out. Nice work, Morrison. Thank you. Two shots, same arrow, you can't beat that. That's stuck up in him. <laughs> All right, folks, well, this is uh, my second bu uh, bird in Wyoming, and this one was a little bit harder than the last one. Um, I'm, other than not having to cross the creek, which is uh, a lot warmer today, so it actually might have felt good. But, um, you know, brand new bow from uh, Striker. Dusty rushed it through the order to get me it so that I could travel to take down so that I can get on the airplane a little bit easier. And uh, we've just been having a great time here, putting up the, you know, working at the lodge, putting up their garage for them. So, um, you know, helping each other out and having a good time, that's what it's all about. And if we don't hurry up and close this interview, Rich is going to kill me because he wants to find some more morel mushrooms. But we got one under our belt and we got a bird to eat with it tonight. So add this to the list of awesome things that I've been able to be fortunate enough to do. And thank the good Lord that it did come together uh, with a couple hiccups, but we got it done. So awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Hope you guys enjoyed the hunt. And uh, if you haven't tried this, you need to try it. So until next time, guys, bow hunter die. Well, good morning from Wisconsin. I have to keep it quiet. There's a bird gobbling about 100 yards away in the roost. He's got some hens, so stick with me today and we'll see what happens.
Wow. That's all I can say. Man, I was tied up in pieces here. I have to say, I don't get nervous very often, but I got nervous this time. As he turned around there, I drew real slow. And he's seen something, that's for sure. He started going straight away, so I just put it in the center of his back there and let it rip. There he is. <laughs> he's laying maybe 30 yards out. Whew, just when you think it's all over with. He snuck around all the way around me. All right, another uh, exciting uh, morning here in the spring of 2019. Um, I apologize that there wasn't much uh, pre-roll on this bird, but again, once in a while when you're self-filming, you're kind of tied down and it's hard to get all that. I was actually closer to this bird than what I normally like to be. Um, I had this blind put in last week already and he ended up being about a hundred yards from me Usually I always stay back, but it worked out for for me this morning. Uh, he looked like he had Seven hens for sure, but I did hear another hen back behind me So seven or eight hens He worked around and I know I could see the decoys where they were and I pretty much kind of gave up on him I was peeking out the side of the the blind and I didn't think I thought he just walked off You know it was so foggy you couldn't see very far, but uh, I kind of got caught Put the bow down, turn the camera off, and next thing I know he's 15 yards. He's out in the field already, so some tense moments, but uh, just took my time, and uh, he did see me draw, but I made it count, so that's all that matters right, right now. So uh, thanks for hanging with me this morning, and until next time, bow hunter die. All right, man, that's some good stuff. Uh, I love Paul. I love Paul. His... A lot of people like Paul. Well, Paul's you gotta love a guy. I love the fact that he carries a quiver full of arrows. He ain't afraid to shoot them. It's good stuff. He just turns them loose. The question is, did he have more than just the three arrows that was he was carrying on his bow? I think he did. That's right. I mean, I, Do you I, think I don't think he's the kind of guy that's going to stop at three right there. He had more arrows in the quiver. We probably need to check up on him, make sure how those uh, other couple arrows look. I think what we really need to do is actually go get all the original footage to see how many other right. arrows possibly got thrown that's right. there that we didn't get to see. Cut right to the chase, yeah. Well, listen, I mean, if you're going to chase turkeys, Paul definitely is... I think inspired a lot of people who want to go out and just run and gun turkeys. I mean, let's face it. I mean, sitting in the blind is fun like you saw Dean do. And I mean, quite frankly, sometimes I like to sit in the blind and relaxing. But I'll tell you what, man, getting those fans yeah. and running around and staying mobile, man, that's fun. It's fun. And that's a lot of guys, stuff. you love it or hate it, it's, it's a great way to go. It's an efficient way to kill those turkeys. You see how they react to that fan. <laughs> they do. They do get sucked right in those fans. So with that being said, guys, we did make a change this week when it came to the trophy photos. We switched gears for so all the ones that sent in photos of more dead turkey, sorry, you should have been paying attention. We switched it up to see who started finally getting some antler growth because I like have no trail cameras out yet. I just finally got my trail cameras out this weekend, so I can't wait to start checking them. So nope. let's take a look at the trail camera photos that were sent in to see who this week's winner is. Check them out. Brogan. Oswald, Corey Lambert, Dwayne Jones, Jeff Rasmussen, Mike Clayson, and Randy Scheel. All right, guys, these are some great trail cameras just sent in. I'm so glad not to see any more dead turkeys and finally starting to see some live deer that we can actually chase this fall. That's right. I don't know here. We were, we were going back and forth on some of these photos. Jeff's got a great looking photo here. I like it. But you know what? I'm going to have to say Mike's photo where it's eating <laughs> his wife's flowers. Plant. Yeah, he's eating his <laughs> wife's flowers of the potted plant. <laughs> Is that considered baiting? What's in the pot? You know, I mean, that's... I don't know. Yeah. So we can't give it to him. There's not as much antler growth as Corey Lambert. So, Corey, yeah. you are going to be the winner of this week's contest. So make sure you get us your information. I'm so glad, though, that we were moving on to actually, again, looking at animals that we can actually chase. Absolutely. Because that's what I'm ready to do this yeah, fall. I'm looking forward you. to it. Yep, absolutely. So, Brody, tell me a little bit about here. What's going on down south? Come on, man. There's not too often where guys are watching the show where we get to learn about what's going on down south. Absolutely. Just finished up a, a great turkey season. Uh, my crew and I were up at the Total Archery Challenge 
uh, last week with the shoot. Yes. So lots of stuff going on. Same thing. Everybody, Tell us about the Archery Challenge. Yeah, it was a great event. If you've never been, I encourage you to come be a part of that. It's happening around the country. I think they're in Vermont this next week, and then PA, Michigan, back out west. And so it's the 3D archery shoot on steroids. I mean, it's, it's just an uh, incredible event. They call it an experience, not just a 3D shoot, but a 3D experience. Hundreds of targets on the range, four different courses, and I mean, you're talking about shots that are uh, anywhere from you know 30 to 130 Ooh. yards. It's it's just an unbelievable deal. Did you so shoot in it? We did. We dabbled a little bit. I had my little boys with long bows, so we didn't do the long distance stuff. We okay. kind of played around, had a big time. Great. Nice. Event. Yep. It looked like a good event. I was watching the Instagram story there, so it was kind of cool. They do a great job with it. A lot of fun. Nice. Well, there you have it. That's what's going on down south, guys. Until next time, we're just hoping that this rain is going to stop so we can get out, start yeah. prepping these food plots, start moving some stands around, get those trail cameras out. I'm ready. I am finally starting to feel like I have been cooped up in a house too long, and I am yeah. ready to feeling, get out there. Feeling the itch. It doesn't take long. Yep. Bowhunter Die, guys. See you next week. Oh, I found it. This is what I need to go along with my Indian outfit. I have to get dusted for that one. Look at that beautiful brown. Isn't that cool? Beautiful, beautiful fish. I caught it right here in the stream in front of me. <laughs>